I really like the container. What am I talking about? Hey everyone, it's Vanessa. So in this video, I have a collection on my trash. So this will be an empties video. As you can see, it's all filled up. And I've been saving this for since January. Um, I'm only going to make these videos probably twice a year. So um, you only see like two of these a year. Um, before we start, I got sunburn. I don't know if you could tell, but I got some pretty bad sunburn all over my face and my chest. So I'm trying to let it breathe a little bit. So, um, anyways, that's that story. Um, we're just going to go ahead and get into this because I have so many things to talk about. Um, and there's a few things that aren't even empty and I just don't want to finish them because I don't like them. So we're going to go from top to bottom in a random order, you know. So first we have the Quake Kids Anti-Cavity Post Brush Fluoride Rinse. It's just mouthwash and uh, use it all up. So that's not that exciting. Um, this is the Bath & Body Works Mango Mandarin Shower Gel and it's part of the Signature Collection. I got this as a gift for my birthday last year, or the year before maybe even. Um, I love, oh my gosh, the smell is so fresh. It's like a nice mandarin smell. Um, more mandarin than mango, but I'm not really complaining because I really like it. And uh, if this came out again, I would buy this, so that's that. Um, I have a Peach Bellini Bath & Body Works hand soap. It's the gentle foaming ones because I don't like the other ones that, you know, don't foam because that does nothing. Um, I liked this. I mean, I love the hand soaps, but it's just the smell got a little bit old after like a few uses. So I wasn't too fond of the smell, but I did really enjoy this product. So, repurchase. This is a um, sunscreen. It expired, but I'm showing you anyways because... It's expired and it's sunscreen, so that's exciting. Um, I was hoping that wouldn't explode, which thank God it didn't. This is the Queen Helene Cocoa Butter Hand and Body Lotion. It claims to soothe and soften hands and face and body. I never put this on my face. I'm so scared to put new things on my face, whether it be foundation or like any serum or any face wash or anything because my face is extremely sensitive to everything and that's why my face is red because I didn't put sunscreen on and I was just scared that you know my face would uh, get like broken out or something so yeah but this <laughs> this is not empty because it expired it's so watery I don't know if you guys could see it's so watery but um I would probably repurchase that, so. Okay, I, there, this, no, uh, -uh. This is the Swap Professionals Keratin Infused, apparently it's new, but it's not new anymore. Um, dry shampoo, I don't get why people like this. Just, no, the smell is horrible. It smells like granny perfume, and I'm not kidding when I say that. Plus, it leaves, He's mowing the grass, so please excuse that. All right, it leaves a like a white casting on your hair, and I don't know. It just do you mind? Gosh, it just leaves like a white cast on my hair that smells not good. So I'm not gonna repurchase this. And there's still like a good amount in there. There's probably this much left in there, but I'm just not gonna finish it. So. This is the Herbal Essences, the Sleeker, the Butter Conditioner. I always use up the shampoo first before the conditioner. So there's only one of these in here, but I use the remaining as a shave gel, shaving cream kind of thing. I, I'm going to be completely honest and say I like conditioner as shaving cream better than real shaving cream. Does that make sense? Probably not, but I don't know. The smell, it smells really nice like it's not too strong but it's not too like soft of a smell if that makes sense but I would repurchase that not anytime soon because I have so 
much shampoo left, and I bought a backup one of, um, you know, a shampoo and conditioner previously. So, anyways, this is the Onyx Professional 100% Pure Acetone Nail Polish Remover. I'm going to try to talk over this guy because really disturbing. Anyways, um, it quickly removes artificial nails and polish. Um, first off, acetone isn't really good for your nails in the first place, so I honestly don't know why I got this. I guess I just never thought about it, but you just, it's really weird. You put your finger in it and then you like, swipe it up and down against the bristle so it takes off your nails and your polish. I never, I've actually never put on fake nails in my life, so I've never tried that, but um, I always paint my nails like almost every other day it seems, but this is what it looks like. I just don't, I don't really care for it. It was okay, but like I said, acetone isn't good for your nails in the first place. Um, because it, it dried out my cuticles like, like really badly. And I always had to put like some type of lotion or something over them, but I would not repurchase. <coughs> so this is the NYX matte blotting paper and I'm not going to repurchase this. This is five dollars. I mean it does its job and everything but the thing is is that I made my own. <laughs> um, that's what it looks like by the way. I made my own and I, I'm not going to buy blotting paper anytime soon since I've made my own so I will not repurchase. It was good while it lasted. 50 sheets um, for like five dollars. It's kind of a lot for that but it was alright while well it lasted. This is the St. Ives Indulgent Coconut Milk Triple Butters Body Wash. I love this stuff and I went to Walmart yesterday and I didn't buy another one. I don't know why but I would repurchase. It smells, if you know, if you were a child or you are one or you know childhood popsicles, you would know the one that comes in the clear packaging and then it's the coconut popsicle and sometimes they're wrapped in like that, um, like a red fat fishnet kind of material. I don't know what it is. It has like the blue, the red, the green, the coconut one. You know, do you know what I'm talking about? Well, it smells like the coconut one, like exactly like it. Oh my gosh. It just smells amazing and I love the smell. I did use this as a shower gel, but I also used it as a bubble bath and it makes really big bubbles which I really like about it so um yes I would definitely repurchase this product next I have a hand sanitizer this is the Bath and Body Works Vanilla B Noel hand sanitizer in oh well I already said the name but that's what it looks like I have another one by my bedside I love this scent so much mm, I love it so much it's just such a nice it's just like a one of those staple kind of scents that you have to have. So I would definitely repurchase that if that does come back out. Alright, so I'm like my percentage on my iPad is running low, so I'm gonna have to hurry up. And yes, I do record on my iPad because you know camera problems and whatever. I have a lot of candles in here. Um these are the Luminescence Dollar Tree candles. I oh my gosh, they smell so good. Um this is the vanilla cream and this is the peppermint. They are such light scents. If you only want your room to smell like something and you don't want your whole house to smell like it, like a Bath and Body Works candle or something, oh my gosh. Get your hands on a luminescence candle from Dollar Tree. You will not regret it. It smells so light and it's not such a strong smell. Oh my gosh, especially this peppermint one. I do not regret buying these whatsoever. They're only a dollar, so I mean can't really go wrong with that and they were amazing I really I really really enjoyed those candles um, this one is from Bath and Body Works I think it's the frosted cranberry candle it says the deep red cranberries a winter shine in this fragrant whatever blend of pink currant vanilla and red apple it just smells so good and it looks like there's a lot in there, but I tried to burn it again last night and it wouldn't, like the burn, like the flame was so low, so I couldn't really, you know, so, <laughs> you know what I mean, okay? It's just like, you know, you know when it's almost dying. Yep, sounds good. 
but I, oh, <laughs> I almost broke that, but anyways, I would buy that again if I could, but I got that like two years ago or something. This is the, another, yet yeah, Bath and Body Works product, the Champagne Toast Bath and Body Works Candle, pop clink and sparkle with an Eversent, Eversent blend of champagne, juicy nectarine, and black currant. Love the smell, and I really wish I bought a, the big size of this because I love it so much. It's so cute. Look at the packaging. It's so cute. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. A few more things and then we'll be done. Okay. These are best shampoo and conditioners ever. It's the Main Tail and Body Shampoo and Conditioner, um, which, I mean, I already repurchased these like two days ago, so... If that doesn't say anything, I don't know what does. If you watched my empties video like last year or something, you would have seen these were in there but they weren't empty, but now they are completely empty and I made a dent in the bottles, so that's cool. But yeah, I absolutely love those products. Alright, so now I have, okay, you can't have an empties video without makeup remover, so I have the, hold up, let me. The Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Cleansing Palettes um, comes with 40, and they are comparable to the Neutrogena ones. I have two of these empty, and I have a whole other one over here. Um, so, I used to use the Maybelline Clean Makeup Remover Wax, you know, like in the pink packaging. But I always go back to these, so I guess these are my staple, and I love them so much. They're like my holy grail, that hurts because of my sunburn, uh, holy grail like makeup remover. And they're so much cheaper than the Neutrogena ones, in my opinion. I get mine from Walmart, and I just, I love them so much. I love them, okay? So, that's that. Alright, uh... Running pretty low here. This is the e.l.f. eyelid primer in Okay, it rubbed off, but it's in sheer it Looks like this. It's only a dollar and it works really good uh, Well, there's barely any in here. So that's what it looks like and it's just a really nice primer and it you know It blends out really nicely and I don't know. I just really like it. It's a dollar I would repurchase, but I'm using the Urban Decay primer sample things right now, so I won't buy this anytime soon, but I will go back to this because it's only a dollar and I mean you can't really go wrong with that. These are the, okay, these are little random sample things from Griffin Pools and Spas because they were little samples. Um, it is the Moments Moisturizing Aromatherapy for Spas and Tubs and you just like twist off the little cap and then you put them in. I put these in my bath and it smells like, I don't know, it's a little bit strong but it's a relaxing kind of scent. I don't know what to compare it to because I've never tried anything else like it. But I don't know, it's not that bad, I just wouldn't buy the whole thing. This is the Dior sample of the Dream Skin and it says it's a global age-defying skincare perfect skin creator. I did notice a difference when I use this. I only use it under my eyes um, every other day. And I did notice a difference, and I'm wearing concealer today, but I really do like this. I was considering actually buying the product, but I looked it up and it's so expensive. And I literally have no money right now, but I would buy this if I could. All right, so the last product I have is the Dove Sensitive Skin Neutral Moisture um, nourishing body wash. It's just a little sample. This came with 0.54 fluid ounces and I got like four uses out of this and I love the smell of it. It smells like, I don't know, it just, it smells so fresh. It says it's unscented, but it just has like that dove scent. It's not a strong scent. And oh my gosh, the lathering is amazing on this and I, I just want to buy the whole thing. Again, I was at Walmart. I didn't buy it. I don't know why I didn't buy it, but I would buy this and I just, it smells so good. I love the smell of this. I don't know why. It just, it just smells amazing and my hair is really messed up, so. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see me every Saturday on your newsfeed. That's exciting. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.